close you are to coming. Now, when this woman, he made him a helpmate, and she was to be his helpmate. And then, now here I've never had a preacher to agree with this yet, and they try to make it some other way, but yet it don't make sense to me. They try to say that Adam and Eve eat some apples. Brother, if I don't say this for a joke now, but I want to say it for if eating apples make women realize they're naked, we better pass the apples again. You know that's right. You know eating an apple, that wasn't what they did. Made them realize they were naked. Certainly it wasn't. It had to come to sexually. It had to be because they realized they were naked when they'd taken this forbidden fruit. Amen. Ain't a woman a fruit tree? Aren't you the fruit of your mother? That was the fruit that was forbidden to be taken. Now here's the great thing. Now the closest the science has ever got to knowing what the human being was, they dig up old bones, they take fossils, and they take heads, and they take skulls and arms and bones and try to make it look like a human being. And they know that the closest thing they've ever come to finding the human next to it is a chimpanzee. He's the closest species to a human being. But yet, it isn't nothing with the human being. The highest, the lowest form of life that there is is a frog. The highest form is a human being. God started at the bottom and made right up until he brought it plumb to his image. Brought it from the birds and the beasts and on up until he got to the image of God. He made man in that image. That's the highest form. The lowest form is just a polywog that turned into a frog and so forth. Now, this missing link that they can't find. Watch the scripture. Now, you, you're going to disagree with this, many of you. But I just want you to bear it in mind and don't be prejudiced against it. Listen. Here's the missing link. Now, they got a chimpanzee, but you can't breed a chimpanzee with a woman and bring forth a child. Notice. Now, here's what's taking place. I believe and can support it by the Bible that it is the serpent that did it. The serpent is that missing person between the chimpanzee and the man. Because, listen, notice this now. That the serpent was not a reptile. He was most subtle of all the beasts of the field. Now, I went and got dictionaries today from everywhere to look up this word. What the word of subtle meant. It means to be smart. To be crafty. And the best interpretation of the, of the Hebrew from M-A-H-A-H, Meha, means having a true knowledge of the principles of life. Now let's watch this just a minute. He's smart, crafty, yet he's called the serpent. But remember, he was the smartest thing there was and the more like the human being than anything else that was on the field. Most is a human being. He was not a reptile. The curse made him a reptile. And he was, the Bible said he was the most beautiful of all. And even the curse didn't take all of his beauty away. Yet the glorious colors of a snake is beautiful. And his grace and his shrewdness, even the curse didn't move at all. But remember, God told him that his legs would come off and he'd go on his belly. And you can't find one bone in a snake that looks like a human being. And that's the reason science is lost. Amen. But there he is. God's hid it from the eyes of the wise and prudent. And promised to reveal it to the sons of God in the last days when the sons of God will be made manifest. When God's sons that rejoice in the, for the foundation of the world, when the great revelation of the Godhead and things will be brought down in the last days, he would manifest these things through the sons of God. You know the scripture teaches that. And here we are. That's the reason God's opening these things to us. God is bringing His sons into manifestation. He's going beyond the limitations of any human knowledge, way into the spiritual revelations and bring it down. Have we been teaching in this Bible, here's to him that has wisdom. Not what he learned in some seminary, but what he learned on his knees before God and what pleased God to give him. Sons of God made manifest. Here's the serpent. Now here's what the serpent was. I'm going to give you my description of him. We, have the, we come down from the frog on to that, the polywog, and on, down, and on, and so on, and so He finally comes to the monkey, to the chimpanzee, and from the chimpanzee, now we jump from the chimpanzee to the human. And we wonder why. 
Well, science says, now wait, we can breed the woman to the monkey and to the fancy and to the vice versa, a man breed to the chimpanzee. It won't work. Breed to any other animal, it won't work. Blood won't mix. Take their blood, that's altogether different blood altogether. There's some blood between here and they can't find the animal. Oh, hallelujah. I'm getting to feel religious right now. Notice. Why? God hid it from them. It ain't a bone in a snake that looks like a human bone. He put the thing so far away that it couldn't be discovered by a smart man. Now I'm going to show you where that smart man comes from, where, he, where he's at anyhow. See? He can't come through that. It's got to come by revelation. Dark the Christ is so upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell can't prevail against it. Spiritual revelation. How did, how did Abel know to offer a lamb instead of Cain offering the fruits of the field? It was spiritually revealed to him. You don't get it by seminaries. You don't get it through denominations. You get it from heaven. Amen. Now, what's the serpent? This serpent, which was first... Let's draw a picture of him now. He's a great big fellow. He's between the chimpanzee and the man. And the serpent, the devil, Lucifer, knew that that was the only blood that would mix with this human blood. The only person he could deal with. He couldn't deal with the chimpanzee. That blood wouldn't mix. He couldn't deal with different things. He couldn't deal with the sheep. He couldn't deal with the horse. He couldn't deal with any animal. He had to deal with this serpent. Let's take him now and see what he looks like. He's a great big fellow. Prehistoric giant. That's where they find these big bones. And I'll show you this in the Bible. Now watch closely. All right. This great big fellow, let's say he, he was 10 foot tall. Great big shoulders. Looked just like a man. And his blood, after coming down, coinciding one animal to another, you cross animals. And it kept getting higher blood, higher form of life, higher form. that it climbs from up into the man realm. But the last connection here between here was cut off. How many knows that science can't find the missing link? All of you know that. Why? Here he is. The serpent. Here he was, a great big fellow. And the devil comes down. Now he says, I can't inspire. Now when you go to looking at women and acting at women, remember, you are anointed of the devil. It's not your own wife. Notice. Now... The devil come down and got into this serpent and he found Eve in the Garden of Eden naked. And he talked about the fruit in the midst. The midst means middle and so forth. You understand, in a mixed congregation. And he said, now it's pleasant. It's good to the eye. What did he do? He began making love to Eve. And he lived with her as a husband. And she saw it was pleasant, so she went and told her husband, but she's already pregnant by Satan. And she brought forth her first son whose name was Cain, the son of Satan. Now you say that's wrong. All right, we'll just find out whether it's wrong or not. And I will put in between thy seed and the serpent seed. Amen. What? The serpent seed. She had a seed and he had a seed. And he shall bruise thy head and you shall bruise his heel. And a bruise there means to make an atonement. Now there's your seed of the serpent. Now notice, here comes these two men out. Now this serpent, when he stood there, this great big giant of a fellow stood up there. He was guilty of committing adultery with Adam's wife. Poor sin lay today. What makes things the way they are today? Now, I, I, surely you can catch what I'm talking about. And there it was. And when he did, God said, we'll begin a call for Eve and Adam. And he said, I was naked. And he said, who told you you was naked? Then they begin to, the army fashion passing the buck. He said, but the woman you give me, done it. She was the one who persuaded me. And she said, the serpent give me an apple. All right, preacher, get next to yourself. She said, the serpent beguile me. Do you know what beguile means? Means defiled. And she the devil never give her an apple. The serpent has beguiled me. And then the curse came. 
He said, because you listened to the serpent instead of your husband, you took life from the world and you'll how you multiply your sorrows and your conception shall be to your husband and so forth. And because you listened to your wife instead of me, I took you from the dust, the high species, back to the dust you go. And serpent, because you did that, off goes your leg, upon your belly you'll go all the days of your life and you'll be hated and dust shall be your meat. There you are. There's that missing link. Now, here comes Cain. Let's watch the natures. Here comes Cain. What is he? He's a shrewd businessman. He tills the fields. Smart, intelligent, religious, very religious. Watch his, watch his attributes now. Just move with me just for a few minutes longer. Here he comes out. He knows he's mortal. He wants to go to church. He builds him a church, makes him an offering. Brings an altar, God, build an altar, put his flowers on it, put the field, uh, the fruits of the field, offered it to God, said, there you are, Lord. I know we eat apples, that's what caused it. <laughs> Some of his offsets has got the same kind of an idea. <laughs> Shows where it come from. Brought his apples and out of the field and laid them on and said, this will make an atonement. God said it wasn't apples. But by spiritual revelation, Abel knew it was blood. So he brought a lamb. Hack its throat. And it died. And God said, that's right. That's what done it. It was blood. You know what blood I'm talking about. All right, it was blood that did it. Now watch. And then when Cain saw his holy roller brother had been accepted before God and signs and wonders was being taken place down there, he got jealous of him. He said, we'll stop this stuff right now. Look at his brothers. Look at his children on today. Now I'm smarter than he is. So he got angry. Where did anger come from? Could you say that anger? He killed his brother. He was a murderer. Could you call God a murderer? And Adam was a son of God. The Bible said that Adam was a son of God. That pure beginning back there. Adam was God's son. And that jealousy and envy and everything could not come out of that pure stream. It had to come through another place. And it comes through Satan who was a murderer to begin with. The Bible said he was. A liar and a murderer to begin with. Amen. There it is. And he killed his brother. And that was a type of the death of Christ. Then out of that, of course, he raised up Seth to take his place. Death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. And watch. Then, here comes your giants. Then Cain went to the land of Nod. If his daddy was a great big giant of a fella... What would Cain be like his daddy? And he went to the land of Nod and tucked one of his sisters. Only way he could do There's no more females could come going through Eve. They claimed they had 70 sons and daughters. If if there was no female, the Bible don't record females when they're born. Just man. And if there was no more females than Eve, when she died, the human race ceased to exist. He had to have daughters. And he had to marry his own sister. He went to the land of Nods and got, got his wife. And when he married her in there, there's where they found those great big giants, which were fallen sons of God who came to their daddy, the devil through Cain. There's your missing link. And watch the seed of the serpent. Now watch. Remember, the seed of the serpent is religious. Watch it start moving now for a few minutes. Here goes the seed of the serpent. What happened to them? Now let me just read something here I just wrote down this afternoon. What come through the line of Abel? Listen to this. All right, along came Abel. After Abel comes Seth. After Seth come Noah. After Noah come Shem. After Shem come Abraham. After Abraham come Isaac. After Isaac come Jacob. After Jacob come Judah. After Judah come David. After David come Christ. To the perfection. Watch back there how the Spirit of God lived in Abel. Look how it lived in Seth. Look how it lived in Judah. Look how it lived in David. Look at the same Spirit calling out through that righteous seed all the way down. No matter what they've done, they were predestinated. Look at Jacob, a dirty, I don't say this, uh, sacrilegious, but Jacob, a little shyster, hanging under his mother's coattail all the time. Run around with a little sissy boy. Put things over and went to deceive his father to get the blessing. But it was given to him before the foundation of the world. Amen. 
Sure it did. Went out there and lied to his father-in-law and took some speckled sticks, popper sticks, and put them in the water to scare these cattle when they were pregnant to make them bring forth speckled cattle so he could cheat and get them cattle. God blessed him in it. 